In this module, we will discuss the function of the flight warning system in the Fokker 100 and examine the alerts, messages, and procedures generated by the flight warning computer. This topic will focus on the levels of alerts presented at the flight deck through visual alerts generated by the FWF and the associated oral and dedicated oral alerts. The section on operation will examine the procedures for alert cancellation. The controls used to adjust the brightness of the alert lights and to test the system will also be examined. Finally, in the section on malfunctions, flight warning system failure, backup mode, and standby annunciations will be discussed. The flight warning system is based on the dark cockpit philosophy. A false light in the flight compartment only illuminates if there is a failure. In normal circumstances, the lights are dark. The main components of the flight warning system are a two-channel flight warning computer, the multifunction display system, and the standby annunciator panel located on the main instrument panel. The multifunction display system consists of two multifunction display units, or MFDUs, located under the standby annunciator panel on the main instrument panel. The MFDS and MFDUs are discussed in detail in the next topic. The flight warning computer processes failure conditions and aircraft system status data into visual and oral alerts, procedures, and memo and status messages. Stall and ground proximity alerts are not processed by the flight warning computer. Crew alerts are presented both visually and orally. Visual alerts are presented on the glare shield by master warning lights master caution lights, and auto land caution lights. The nature and location of a failure or abnormal condition is also presented by a local light on the control panel of the failed system and by a message on the left MFDU. Procedures for dealing with alerts are presented on the right MFDU. The multifunction display system is described in detail in the next topic. Oral alerts, which consist of chimes and dedicated alerts, are sounded through the flight deck loudspeakers and headphones. The flight warning computer categorizes all alerts according to urgency and or priority of the required action. A level 3 alert requires immediate corrective or compensatory action. A level 2 alert requires immediate pilot awareness and subsequent corrective or compensatory action. A level one alert requires pilot awareness, which may require action. A level three alert is announced by a repetitive triple chime and two master warning lights on the glare shield. Level 3 alerts also generate a message indicating the source of the alert and procedure for dealing with it on the multifunction display unit. In addition, engine-related level 3 alerts are accompanied by a white light in the relevant fuel lever. An engine or APU fire alert also causes a red light in the respective fire panel to come on. Level 3 oral alerts and the visual annunciator are cancelled by pressing either one of the master warning lights. There are two level three alerts which cannot be cancelled. Landing gear not down with flaps greater than 23 degrees and unsafe takeoff configuration. A level two alert is announced by a double chime the amber master caution lights flash, and if applicable, the relevant amber local light illuminates. Level two oral alerts and the visual annunciators are canceled by pressing either one of the master caution lights. 
Level 1 alerts are presented visually by an amber local light and orally by a single chime. Local lights contain an inbuilt switch that will cancel the fault indication by turning off the faulty system. And the appropriate messages are shown on the MSDUs in amber. In the event of a failure of the automatic landing system, the Autoland caution lights located at the end of the glare shield will flash. Depressing the Autoland caution light will cancel the alert. The flight warning computer also generates several dedicated oral alerts that cannot be cancelled by pressing any annunciator. The dedicated orals are as follows. Cavalry charge, warning of autopilot disengagement. The clacker, warning of aircraft overspeed. The C chord, alerting crew to altitude entry when the autopilot is not engaged. The buzzer, for pilot call and the interrupted buzzer for cell call. The flight warning computer prioritizes all alerts and presents them according to their priority. Starting with the alert with the highest priority, the order is cavalry charge, clacker, triple chime accompanied by master warning lights, MFDS messages and local lights. Auto land caution lights without cavalry charge. C chord. Double chime, master caution lights, MFDS messages, and local lights. And finally, a level 1 alert consisting of a single chime, MFDS messages, and local lights. Interrupted buzzer. And finally, a level 1 alert consisting of a single chime and local lights. The flight warning computer will interrupt a lower level alert if an alert of higher priority is detected. When a higher level alert is cancelled, the flight warning computer will redisplay the lower level alert. The flight warning computer inhibits oral alerts during high workload flight phases to prevent oral distraction. The flight warning system automatically inhibits alerts which are derived from higher priority alerts. For example, an engine shutdown alert will be presented, but alerts which result from this condition, such as hydraulics and electrics out, will not be enunciated. The flight warning computer inhibits alerts which are of no consequence to a particular phase of flight. For example, the engine out status message alert is inhibited whilst on the ground. All oral alerts generated by the flight warning computer can be cancelled by depressing the audio warn push button at the avionics panel located on the overhead panel. Finally, the audio warn push button is sealed and guarded and should only be pressed during emergency landings to prevent oral nuisance. We will begin the section on operation by considering how the flight warning system is tested. The flight warning system may only be tested on the ground. The test is started by pressing the warn system test button on the test panel located on the overhead panel. The test takes approximately 20 seconds and comprises an alert filament test and an automatic backup test. Now, Initiate the flight warning system test. During the test, test is enunciated in the warning system test button and all the alert lights illuminate momentarily one by one. Each alert light has two filaments and each is checked. Also note the MFDU message, warn sys in test, is displayed whilst the test is in progress. If a single filament is found to be faulty, the other filament flashes so that the fault can be recognized. If both filaments are found to be faulty, 
all other flight warning system controlled lights will illuminate for 30 seconds so that the faulty light may be identified. During the test, backup mode is checked. Warn SYS will illuminate in the backup push button to indicate that the standby annunciator panel is functioning and various standby annunciators will illuminate according to system condition. A single chime announces the end of the test, and if no faults are found, a green complete light illuminates. Normal system operation is resumed 30 seconds after the end of the test chime, or earlier if the warn system push button is pressed. The warning system push button reverts to its blank state. We will now consider how the brightness of the alert lights may be adjusted. All alert lights, except the master caution, master warning, and auto land caution lights, may be set to either dim or bright using the annunciator brightness selector on the flight deck lighting panel. The default setting on power up for all alert lights is bright regardless of the position to which the selector is set. The brightness may be reset by turning the selector to reset and then to the required brightness. Now select the dim setting for the alert lights. New level 3 or level 2 alerts are presented bright. New level 1 alerts come on dim or bright as selected. Finally, please note that the master warning lights, master caution lights, and auto land caution lights are always bright. We have seen how the flight warning system classifies alerts in three levels according to the priority of the required action. We will now review the procedure for dealing with each level of alert. You will recall that a level 1 alert is enunciated by a local light in the appropriate panel and a single chime. A level 1 alert is cancelled by depressing the local light. Cancel the level 1 alert in the flight augmentation panel. When the system is switched off, the alert is cancelled. A level 2 alert is enunciated by a double chime and flashing master caution lights. The alert is cancelled by pressing one of the two master caution lights. Cancel the level 2 alert. Pressing the master caution light cancels the alert and resets the master caution lights to present further level 2 alerts. The fault condition, however, will still exist until the appropriate procedure has been carried out. A level 3 alert is enunciated by a repetitive triple chime and flashing master warning lights. The alert may be cancelled by pressing one of the two master warning lights. Now cancel the level 3 alert. Pressing the master warning light cancels the alert and resets it to present subsequent alerts. The fault condition will still exist until the appropriate procedure is carried out. Finally, please note that two level 3 alerts cannot be cancelled. Firstly, if the landing gear is not down with flaps down, and secondly, takeoff configuration level 3 alert. If at any time one of the flight warning computer channels fails, normal system operation is unaffected. A level 1 alert will sound and an amber alert, warn computer channel, will appear in the MFDU. At any time, Backup mode will be automatically selected if both flight warning computer channels fail. The warn system light on the standby annunciator panel will enunciate complete FWC failure and the alert warn computer inoperative appears in the MFDU. 
The standby annunciator panel presents all level 3 alerts in red and the most important level 2 alerts in amber. In addition, the standby annunciator panel can generate two dedicated oral alerts. The cavalry charge for autopilot disengagement and the clacker for aircraft over speed. The standby annunciator panel is automatically activated during a battery-only condition. Finally, please note that the standby annunciator panel can be manually selected by pressing the backup push button. When the standby annunciator is manually selected, backup will be annunciated. In this topic, we have seen how the flight warning computer controls and prioritizes alerts and presents them as various visual and oral warnings on the flight deck. We have noted that level 3 alerts are cancelled by pressing the master warning lights and that level 2 alerts are cancelled by pressing the master caution lights. Faults continue to exist until the procedure for dealing with them has been carried out. We saw how the flight warning system can be tested using the warn system test push button and that the brightness of alert annunciators may be controlled. Finally, we learned that if the flight warning system fails completely, the standby annunciator takes over automatically.